Hey guys, it's me, it's me, it's Lab Bandicoot 93 and yes, we are back with a new Let's Play known as Gex 2 Enter the Gecko. Now, I've decided to use Let's Play because of a tournament I'm taking part of and I know it's kind of a good idea to get practice from it and, you know, beneficial to play through it because it actually is a good game. Now we're going to go and start the game and we're going to get like a loading screen as you can see and we're going to play the first stage. Now I'm going to play one level per apart so the first level we're going to go into is out of tune and we're going to get five remotes now the five remotes i'm going to talk about and go into more detail in the part now the first you see well as you can see there's three red remotes now sadly we can only get one red remote at a time and re-enter the level so we're going to get the whack five purple mushrooms and it gives you a hint where to get them as you can see that's where the mushroom well what they look like so we're going to have to get five of them now you do this in most in all the other levels, so you gotta whack five certain whatever they tell you. The whack. So we gotta get five of them, but we're gonna get the five purple mushrooms. And I will exp while I'm here, I'm be going to get the um, one of the hidden remotes as well. Now, one of the hidden remotes, I'll explain where it is, but as you notice, there's these carrots as well. Now, I will go into more depth with, with the carrots um, later on in this part. Because we're not going to worry about them at the minute. The because we don't need to worry them about it. Unless you're going to collect them now. But I like to do them last. Because um, the last remote requires you to go to the end of the level. Now, as you can see, these TVs does release these different color flies. Now, these different color flies give you different things. Some give you hit points and some give you an extra life. Now, as you can see, I got an extra life. Which is great. And I've got two mushrooms already, so we're going to go and get our third one. Well, fourth one, actually. My bad. Our fourth mushroom. So we've already got our fourth mushroom, which is great. And we're going to get our fifth one, which is just down here. And there we go. Now it's going to show you a cutscene and show you the remote on the TV spawning. Now there's three different TVs in this ep level, and there's three different TVs in all the other levels. I almost got hit. Now this is another TV, a green one. Now the green one gives you this fly, and I forgot to pick it up. Now, it's a hit point, so if I stick my tongue, which is circle, I get another hit point. So you get four hit points per a life spam. And obviously if you die with all four hit points, then you will have to restart again. Now I'm going to get the one of the white remotes now, which is a hidden remote, and it's right here. Now, we're going to be getting another one, but that requires to get collectibles. Now I'm going to go in more detail, as I said about that later on. Because that requires the carrots. No, the carrots. Everything in this level, everything is important to collect. Let's just say. So I'm gonna exit the level, and we're gonna get our first red remote. Now we've managed to end this level so far with two remotes: a hidden remote and one red founded remote. We need to get two more red remotes, and the next one we're gonna get is we're gonna have to kill two hunters. Now. Killing the two hunters, we haven't got to that area yet, so I'm going to introduce you to the area. But it's still out of two. We're just going to go back in again, and they're going to give us a hint. So to hunt the two hunters, there's two of them, obviously, because there's two. Not going to be four of them for a three or one. As you can see, there's one of the hunters, and they're giving you an idea what they look like. So that's what they look like. So we're going to go and get that. Now we're just going to zoom through this part again. We're just going to zoom through because we don't need to worry about the cart yet, as I said. We don't need to, we worry about them later on. So we're waiting for this block to spawn. So, it's gonna quickly zoom through. As you notice what I'm doing, like R2, I'm holding down, I think it's L2? Yeah, it's L2, but I think it is L2. Um, and it's doing this karate kick, or flying kick, and it kinda does speed you up, it's a lot faster to use. Um, it's really, well, it's a fast method to use, I'd say. If you wanna get through this level quick as you can. No. I'm gonna get this hunter. One. Actually, I'm gonna leave him last because he's right beside the TV. I'm gonna get the one up here first. Because the cutscene really does do my head in. I'm gonna break his TV. I'm gonna get a hit point. Because I need it. And I lost it. Great. Just lost it straight away. But the next hunter is up here. As you can see him there. One hit. Two. Two hit. We need one more hit. And he got his third hit. 
So that's him dead. And he'll drop cards. So that's our first hunter. We're going to get our second hunter, which you've seen already down here. So we're going to go and get him, and I'm stuck. And if you haven't noticed, Gex2 has the dreadful camera angles ever. They are just absolutely appalling because it's so hard to control. So there's our next hunter, two. I've already hit him once, I think. So that's his third hit. Oh no, Jesus. There you go, I think that's him dead now. So we are right beside the TV, which is great because we just have to walk right beside it to get the remote. So that's our next remote we're going to pick up and we're going to exit level and that will bring our total up to three out of five. If I can be able to exit the level. So that is th three remotes we have out of five. We're just going to go back in. Now we're going to worry about the carts. Now, explaining this, we need to collect... Well, before I go in, I'll explain in a minute. I don't want to do that. It's hail time. So, we're going to get to the end. So, this is jump to the tearing rock. Now, this is, like, right at the end. So, we leave this to last because it's more easier to get... To, well, it's more easier. And we leave the last remote to last as well because... Cheech and or it doesn't mean you have to go and collect everything in one area because you can might as well just save it to the end. Now... We need to collect 30 carrots, and once we collect 30 carrots, we get a life. Now, once we get a life, a new collectible appears. So, you will have to collect 40 of them, and you will have to collect, after that, you will have to collect 50 of another thing, which is a TNT grid. So, collecting up to 120, if my mouse is right. I think it is 120. Yeah, 120. It's 120 we'll need to collect. So, that's all we need to collect. So we're getting 30 cards already soon, actually, by the looks of it. And I got a hit there. Put them down, I don't like them. We're going to get one more card. I'm going to try to find somewhere. I'm just going to break this open. And they turn into cans now, because we get a life for collecting 30 cards. So we're going to get cans, which we need 40. And we're going to collect 40 now. So after we collect cans, they turn into TNT grids. Now TNT grids will be the last one we collect. And after we collect all, we will get a remote. So the remote we want, that's what we need to get. So I'm just going to collect. Now, defeating enemies tend to give you items as well, which is good. So, defeating them is a good thing to do. Now, don't get cans that... If you see cans, easier to get. Because you don't need to get every single can in the area. Because you can easily get... Because there's more than 50 can, 40 cans in the area. So, you might as well just... Get what gives you the most. Don't struggle for it. Like, don't risk go out on a limb. Or risk yourself to get a can. So, as you can see, we're about to collect 40 in a minute. So, I'm going to go through here now and get the last couple of cans in this area. So I'm going to break that open. And I should... 37, 38, 39, and 40. We'll now collect TNT grids, which is 50. So that's another life we got. And I'm going to break this, and we're going to get another one. Which brings our count to 9. And then we're going to get another life. Actually, I'm going to jump up here. I'm going to get a... Okay, we need to get up here. We can get up now. Leave it. Don't forget it. And then... Now, these, this will be six here, because the mushrooms tend to give out three. And enemies give out three, so it's the best thing to collect it from them. Now, I'm just going to leave him, because I don't want him to get a cutscene. So, here we go. We've got 12 so far. So, we're doing well. We're zooming through the level as quick as we can. And... If I can pick up stuff, because the camera angle is really hard to see. I really am struggling. Look, look, I just circle them. <laughs> there we go. The told me. Come on. There we go. Took a while to pick them up, but we got them in the end. And I just lost the hit point. And I do not want to die, because then I have to go back to gain to the start. And then we get... Oh, that's great. We got another hit point, which is what I needed. And we're on 25, so we're halfway collecting, which is good. And then try not to die. Oh god. 
Ah, uh, oh, that's good. Didn't even know there was one down there. Oh, for goodness sake, goodness sake, I just panicked. But look, look, this is what I hate with the camera angle. It does stuff like this. It goes, it takes, it gives you a view from behind, like in front of you. I really do struggle a lot with the cameras. Okay, now I'm just gonna leave these ones because, oh, because I got one hit point. I don't want to die. Well, I'm just gonna get that checkpoint because I probably will need it. Uh, we're just gonna bust this open and collect the TNT crates in there. As you can see, we're slowly approaching the end. As you know, we've got 44. We just need six more, and we've got the remote, which is great. Happy days. Oh, I was trying to take a shortcut, but it didn't work. And I died. Because I didn't see that enemy. Great. But I've got 45, so I don't need to worry about that. So. It wasn't a big loss. Wait for that. There to go away. Oh, come on. I, I've been doing a shortcut all the time. Oh, for goodness sake. See, the, ugh, the camera angles do not do this game any justice at all. And, there we go. I jump at the wrong time, because fucking waves. There we go, I'm just going to collect them. I can't even be bothered. I'm getting really angry now. I might as well just take the long way now, because I've wasted so much time trying to go to shortcut, I could have just easily take the long way. So there we go. Now since we did not go out of the bother there, we finally get our white remote. So all we need to do is finish the level, so it's not that hard, we just need to get to the top of this here, mountain. And hopefully I don't fall down, because I tend to fall down quite a lot. Up oh, there we go. This is the start of me gonna fail at this part. Always. Okay. Oh, uh, could have been worse. Could have fell all the way back down there to the bottom. Okay. Nope, turn the camera angle, turn it, turn it, turn it. There we go. And we have finished it, finally. So there we go, five remotes. As you can see, they're going to count up our total, and we have got enough. So we've got three red remotes and two white remotes, one which was hidden and one which was a reward. Now, that's the end of this part, and in the next part, as you can see, we've got five remotes. Well, wait, we're going to see a wee cutscene here showing us the boss. But we won't be fighting that boss for a while. We're not going to be fighting until part three, if I believe so. So, in the next part, we are going to be going into... Smell Razor. Where we'll be getting five remotes again. So, thanks for watching. My name's LabAnika93. Make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe if you haven't. Now, I shall see you in the next part where we'll be going in the Smell Razor. So, I shall see you and goodbye.